The answer to that question really lies in what the lien release says. But let's take a step back for a minute. You see, what the owner really wants from a lien release, and what the general contractor really wants from a lien release, is to make sure that if you invoice $1,000 and you get paid $1,000, that the owner or the general contractor won't later be served with a claim saying you're seeking that same thousand dollars. They and any bank that's financing the project will want to know that this bill has been paid and it's never going to come back to haunt them again. And that makes sense. That's why the lien releases are there. In their most pure form, what they say is, here's my invoice, you pay me for this uh, invoice, and I'm releasing you from any claims arising out of this invoice. And that's particularly fine. So normally when you sign a lien release and you turn it in with your invoice or your application for payment, you're not waiving your right to get paid on that invoice because the lien release is worded prospectively. In consideration for the payment I will receive in satisfaction of this invoice, I waive all my rights to claim a lien.